Importantly, it is no reason to obstruct a path in which the relations between the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and Rastafari come closer and become strengthened with time. We ask that the Ethiopian Orthodox Church set as an objective priority the need to educate the Ethiopian peoples on its recent, more modern history, the true story. We suggest a program where members within the church study and learn about modern history of Ethiopia. But it is not enough to study and learn modern history of Ethiopia. We focus our efforts on teaching these peoples the need to pass the knowledge onto the peoples of Ethiopia who are in Ethiopia. In case that this message may not be as clear as we would hope. When we say the modern history of Ethiopia, what we mean is from 1892 on to 1976. We ask that the church be patient in this thought. We must mention that we do not seek to push a back to Africa movement. We do not ask that you change church traditions. We do not want you to teach His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, first King of Kings, elect of God, conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah, Emperor of Ethiopia as God. We also do not want people to leave your church far from that. It is not our business what people do with their lives, but it is our business to see to it that all members of the human community are allowed to know the truth that has been kept hidden from them, so that this people can have an informed choice as to what response, what action to take, what conclusions to conclude after having received the full truth. Brothers, sisters, mothers, a people